Alright, let's jump right into this because the sooner I get this video done, the sooner I can get this installed in my car and start playing with it. In this video on the Z Automotive Taser, we're going to go over the easy steps of installing the drivers, ZPU utility, and then finally the device into the car. All the software, drivers, and manuals you'll need can be found on ZAutotech.com. Scroll down until you find the Taser and click to enter the page. Downloads and manuals can be found in the left column. It's important to note that installing the drivers should not be necessary on Windows 7, 8, or 10, but I'm running through this step just as a visual just in case. Click to download the file, run, then click extract. Depending on your Windows 7, 8, or 10 user access control settings, you may get the requires elevation error. As long as you're administrator on the system, you can go back to the downloaded file, right click on it, and select run as administrator. You can now click through the extract and install process without issue. Our next step is the ZPU or the Z Automotive Programming Utility. Go back to the Taser page on zautotech.com and download the ZPU from the link in the left column. Then run the install. There should be no user access control errors with this install. Just click through the default options to complete. Now connect your Taser with the included USB mini cable to your Windows PC. This software will not run on a Mac unless you're running Windows, in bootcamp, or in a virtual environment. Alright, now head over to your start menu, locate and run the ZPU. From the configure menu you can see the tab starting with the light show options, and at the top you can see the status info, where it shows the model, key position, shifter position, and the CAN B and C bus activity. These will turn green when there's activity on the bus. They all function when connected to the vehicle, but unfortunately this is currently sitting on my desk. It's always a good idea when getting any device to verify the software and firmware is up to date. Z Automotive makes this very easy. Simply click on the program button in the ZPU utility, select get version. You can then compare this version with the one posted on the taser page of zautotech.com. Looks like we're up to date and ready to install in the car. While you're on the site, I highly recommend you grab the manual so you know what functions apply to your vehicle and stay away from any known issues clearly posted in the documentation. All right, just give you an idea where we are. We are underneath the uh, driver's side dashboard. Bring you over to there. There's your ODB2 port. You can see the uh, shape right there. That matches up with the uh, shape of the taser here. Okay, you notice it's in a D shape there. You just wanna line that up. So we got the fat side to the that way. So we take the fat side, plug it in. Oh, I gotta find the hole. Plug that right in there. And that is it. That's the install process. Now, if you wanna work on it, now you don't have to have it plugged into your car to work on it. You can also do that um, outside of your car. But there's a uh, USB port right there you were to plug in your USB mini connector right into there and then you plug that into you don't have to leave this plugged in all the time either you just only when you need to connect it to your laptop only connects to a Windows PC you can connect it to a Mac if you're running VMware or boot camp with Windows in it and now uh, that's it now I drove uh, about a hundred miles today with the taser in and um, not once did I hit it while going for the clutch or the emergency brake. So it doesn't get in the way. If you're concerned about that, you can get a six, eight or 10 inch uh, ODB2 cable or even a Y splitter if you're using a tuner of some sort that has to go connected simultaneously and then tuck everything up underneath the, uh, the dashboard up here. The only thing it's gonna make a little more difficult for is for uh, accessing the USB port. But again, um, you know, I did some pretty aggressive driving today and it, it did not get in the way. Parking either, using the brake. It's it's kind of unobtrusive. I know a couple other people with autos that leave it in and never hit it. So 
it's up to you what you want to do but again a couple dollar part six uh six eight or ten inch cable and you could stuff it up underneath there all right all right that's it for this quick how to install video more to come on the taser in the very near future if you thought this video was helpful please drop a like and if you're interested don't forget to subscribe to view the rest of this video series on all the features the z automotive taser has to offer from my 2015 manual scat pack and any other car that i can get my hands on i hope you guys enjoyed and as always thanks for watching